Hi friends, welcome to First Edition YouTube channel. This is part 47 in Azure Synapse Analytics playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to configure access to your Azure Key Vault for your Synapse Notebooks. That means from your Synapse Notebooks, if you want to make sure you will have a proper access to access the Key Vault store, then how to do that? So basically, when you run your Synapse Notebooks using interactive mode, that means if you are running your Synapse Notebook directly, then they will actually use this Azure Active Directory authentication pass through. That means with the ID which you connected your Synapse workspace, with that they will try to access the uh, Key Vault store. So that means if, uh, let me practically show you this. So let me go to my Synapse workspace. This is my Synapse workspace. And here, if you see this Synapse workspace is connected with Mahir3222 ID. So if this ID has access on the Key Vault store, then you will directly able to access the storage when when you are actually running your synapse notebook in the interactive mode that means let's assume here you created a new notebook and in this new notebook you are trying to uh, uh, you you return some code which need access to key Vault store maybe to get a secret from it then in that case if you try to run this notebook from here it is going to use your own id to access the key Vault store and if your your own id has the access on the key Vault store then without any issue you will be able to see that secrets and everything. Let me practically show you that. So, so to access, uh, there is something called uh, uh, credential utilities, which you can use to get the secrets from the key vaults. Again, one more thing. If you don't know what is key vault, and if you don't know what is secret in the key vault and everything, please watch my Azure key vault playlist. There are three to four videos, some small, small videos that will help you to get a high level idea about this key vault service. So now, let me let's assume I have a key vault here called IPS key. So in this key vault, uh, if I go to secrets, uh, I saved one password, uh, one secret as a one of the secret inside this key vault. So I I given a name for that particular secret as test secret. And if I go to the test secret inside the test secret, if I open this version current version, if I click this show secret value, welcome at the rate one two three. Let's assume this welcome at the rate one two three is my password or my secret and I stored this password under this test secret. So this is the secret name in which I stored this value, welcome one, two, three. And let's assume this uh, secret is inside this key vault account, right? Now, I want to make sure my notebook code, Synapse notebook code capable enough to read the value inside this secret, that is welcome at the rate one, two, three. So to do that, there is a uh, credential utilities what we can use. So here I am trying to write that code here. So from notebook, utils import ms spark utils so i hope if you have seen all my previous videos by this time you already know this code help you to import ms spark utils package so in this inside ms spark utils package there is a uh, utilities library called credentials so this credentials library actually help you to get the secrets so there is a method called uh, let me execute help function first to see available uh, functions inside this credentials uh, library so let me hit this run cell before running any notebook you need to make sure you attach your notebook with this spark pool and then hit the run button to run that particular notebook so here you can see my notebook session is going to start that means spark session is going to start the moment spark session starts it is going to execute this code and it is going to give inside this credentials module what and all the functions are there so there is a function called get secret that function actually help you to get the secrets from the key vault store we are going to use that uh, get secret function here and then try to read the secret inside this secret name so let's see whether that will work uh, good or not great see our code executed and if you see here there is something called get secret function for that function you need to pass your key vault account name and also your secret name it is going to give you back that actual secret value what you stored inside of it so what i am going to do under this credentials uh, uh, module, I am going to use this uh, get secret function here. Get secret function. For the get secret function, I am going to pass my key vault account name that is IP, IPS key. Let me copy this and let me paste it here. And then I, I, I also need to pass my secret name. My secret name is test secret. So let me copy this. Let me paste this. And this code uh, should try to go to this particular key vault store and go inside this secret and get the value from it and if you remember value inside this test secret is 
वेलकम एट द रेट वन टू थ्री लेट मी ओपन दैट एंड लेट मी शो यू वन अगेन क्लिक दिस करंट वर्शन एंड इनसाइड दिस करंट वर्शन वेन आई क्लिक शो सीक्रेट वैल्यू यू कैन सी वेलकम एट द रेट वन टू थ्री ओके सो दिस इज गुड हियर सो नाउ लेट मी गो टू माई स्टोर हियर आई मीन लेट मी गो टू माई सीन ऑफ वर्क स्पेस एंड लेट मी रन दिस नोटबुक and let's see whether this is able to read the value from this secret or not you can see right now our uh, notebook execution is in progress let's wait for the execution to complete here you can see we got our value back welcome at the rate 1 to 3 how this magic is happening how come uh, my synapse notebook code able to access my keywall store and get the secrets to answer this let me go here if you see here when you are running your synapse notebooks directly in the interactive mode it is going to use azure active directory id that means here i ran my notebook directly right in the interactive mode so this id actually used to go to the keywall store and get the secret value from it now this id should have access on the keywall store to do that it seems this id already have the access that is the reason we are able to read the secret value properly so if you see the presentation also here i see that to make sure you need to make sure to uh, uh, under access permissions try to uh, give the permissions try to grant the secret permissions so let me practically show you that so if you go here if you go to my uh, key vault account here if i go to access policies under access policies see here this is the id right with which uh, i connected my synapse workspace also see the same id same id here also so for that id for keys we have all these permissions get the keys list the keys update the keys for secrets we have all these permissions get the secrets list the secrets set the secrets and everything and also for certificates we have all these permissions since this id already has the permissions or accesses granted on this keyval store account it is able to successfully get this id but if you try to let me save this uh, notebook here let me publish this notebook here to the workspace but let's assume if you try to run the same notebook using a pipeline activity called notebook activity inside the synapse pipelines then will it work because it will not work the reason is whenever you try to run any synapse notebook from the pipeline activities from the synapse pipeline activities then your active directory id is not going to run that behind the scenes your workspace managed identity is going to take care of running that code that means this workspace managed identity has to have the permissions on the key vault to get it so let me practically show you that so let me add this notebook to the synapse pipeline by hitting this button add to pipeline let me create a new pipeline here so i am trying to create a new pipeline called pipeline 7 and notebook activity added here inside this notebook activity if you see i am trying to run that notebook too which is just now created and this notebook is this notebook code is actually going to the key vault and trying to read the value from this secret so now if i try to run this pipeline then this notebook activity behind the scenes uses my workspace identity which is mahir hyphen synapse to access that key vault store since mahir if uh, mahir iphone synapse managed identity does not have the permissions on the key vault this is going to fail so if you go to the key vault also if you go to this access controls you see only this mahir 3222 id has the permissions on the key vault store but mahir synapse doesn't have any permissions here so automatically this notebook execution is going to fail here why because as per the code it has to go to the key vault and on the key vault my managed identity does not has the permission managed identity means nothing but think like your workspace own identity uh, the name of the managed identity will be the same name of your workspace name that means mahir hyphen synaf so let's try to make sure this activity fails or not once it fails what we are going to do we are going to add the permissions for our managed uh, identity of workspace and then try to run this notebook once again and see whether this will run good or not so let's wait for the execution of this notebook activity to complete here see my activity execution failed right you can see the error message also so why why this activity execution failed what is happening as i said it is going to run this notebook code and here it is trying to connect to key vault account to read the value of this particular secret and all that magic is happening with this workspace identity and workspace identity does not has permissions on the key vault so indirectly it is going to fail this execution here Yeah. so now let me go to key vault and let me try to add access policy for my workspace identity so select this key secret certificate management template which is going to automatically select this nine key permissions and this seven uh, secret permissions and this 15 uh, uh, certificate permissions if you don't want all these permissions then according to your need 
you can uncheck this so for me let it be let me select this non selected and here let me try to search for my synapse workspace identity mahir synapse so you need to search with your workspace name only let me hit this select button let me hit this add button and then let me save this so that means now we added we given permissions for my synapse workspace also in this key vault account now if i go to this particular notebook now this time if i try to run this notebook uh, my managed identity have the access on the key vault store so this is going to successfully execute this notebook without any issue so let me uh, run this notebook and make sure that great see now my activity execution is successful the reason is this time my workspace identity has permissions on the key vault account so we need to make sure uh, you have the permissions given to your azure active directory identity as well as managed identity on the key vault account so that whether you run your notebook in the interactive mode or you run it from the uh, pipeline in either ways it should work fine so if that is the case you need to make sure to give access to the both the ids active directory identity and managed identity so let me go to presentation so this is what i said so azure notebook uses azure active directory identity to access the key vault and synapse pipelines to run the same notebook they will use workspace identity so you need to make sure give access to the both of them so that your notebooks will work in either of the modes so i hope you liked this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications whenever i add videos thank you so much